Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Toy Collector Review with me, Sergeant Geek. And today at my local Walmart, I managed to find three new bikes to add to my motorcycle collection. These looked really cool. As you know, I don't really want to get the dirt bikes because they all pretty much look the same. I want to get some of these street bikes because they all have their own different personality, different characteristics. So guys, here they are right here. We're not going to look at all the packaging. Let's just take a look at the packaging on one of these bikes. As always, you got the Adventure Force on the top and Adventure Force on the bottom here. The big wide open window so you can actually see the bike. Hopefully my camera will work with us in focus. There we go. And as you can see here on the other side, you got two wheelers, 118 replica motorcycles. Once again, nothing much on the top here except the same thing there. Along with the sponsorship of licensed bikes they have. More of the adventure force there more of the licensing production and legal mumbo jumbo here on the back another adventure force logo more legal mumbo jumbo down here and that's it for that guys now let's go in let me get my screwdriver and let's start opening up these packages and taking a look at these motorcycles all right so i got my screwdriver let's go ahead let's start with this bike on the end let's take a look at this one this one looked really cool. This is, I believe, a Kawasaki KLR, which is really cool. This is an off-road vehicle, but it's actually also designed for the street. It is street legal, but it's also made for off-road. It's kind of like what they used to have back in the day, what they used to call Enduros, which was street legal dirt bikes. But this one, I believe, is more of a cross-country bike. Guys, if you know more about this bike than I do, leave a comment in the comment section below. I thought it was really cool. It's more, it looks more advanced than an enduro, but it looks really nice. It looks hefty. And I just thought it was pretty cool, so I wanted to add it to my collection. Hold on, let me get some of this trash out of the way here. And let's take a quick look at the bike. As you can see here, very nicely done. It is a bulky dirt bike. But like I said, I believe this is more of a cross-country style bike very very nice i'm pretty sure this is not as annoying and revving lawnmower sounds as the dirt bikes that you hear out on the street but this one does look really cool it kind of reminds me of like the bmw version of bikes but nevertheless really nicely done let's see if we can get a close-up on the instrument panel there as you can see hopefully my camera will focus on it does look really nice like i said this is really cool and you can tell it's kind of like a dirt bike like you can see by the handlebars on there. Very nicely done. Now let's go ahead and get this bike out here. This bike here is really weird. It has a funny name to it. It's called a Husqvarna 701 Vipulin. Which I've never even seen any of these bikes but it looks really cool. This kind of looked like a European bike to me. And you'll see why here in a few seconds after I get this little clip off the bottom here so we can take it off the packaging there we go uh, once again let's remove the boxes now let's take a look at this bike here as you can see to me it kind of looks like a cafe racer it's really nice though very nicely done I like the way it's got that fender just that quarter fender right there it actually blocks the rain water from hitting you in the back it's got some nice detail on the engine. It's got that big cooling, coolant radiator there. The chrome on it looks really nice. As you can see, the design on it looks really, really good. I would actually 
would enjoy probably riding one of these bikes out there but i haven't really seen anything like this in my area so it's not going to be something i'll be riding anytime soon but it does look really cool and i think one of the things i did find kind of odd is on the front how it has the 701 running across the headlights there but let's see if my camera can pick up the cluster on this one as well hopefully you guys can see it there these bikes do have lots of detail to them some of them a little bit more than others like you can see these first two bikes they do have the handlebars and brake lights and everything that's supposed to be on the bikes and it pretty much is detailed to the way the bikes really are but some of them, sometimes they do detail sometimes they, they they don't paint them now let's check out this one i believe this one here is a triumphant daytona which is really cool because this bike was the first one i caught my eye on the shelf i thought it looked really awesome and i actually wanted to get it and i came across the other two but this one looks really nice and you guys know i am into the street bikes i love the way these bikes look and as you can see this one looks really nice and the detailing on this one is amazing this one's got so much more detail than the other two bikes as you can see with the braking system the parts of the engine the covers on the engine some of the pedals even the i don't know if it's supposed to be gold or brass fittings on the shocks in the front the detail on the headlights there the turn signals the the rotors even a chromed off kickstand this thing has lots of detail i've never seen one of these bikes here in person but this thing looks amazing i like the way they designed the exhaust on there too you can see some of the details on the handlebars as well how different they are compared to the other ones and you can see the instrument cluster there as well looks like it's got a big cluster there, so it probably has a lot more features than we can actually see this thing does look good and makes me want to go check out my local triumph dealer and see if they actually got one of those in stock but guys there you have it these are the next three bikes i'm going to be adding to my collection that i was able to pick up at walmart now once again these things if you check online these things are going anywhere from 10 to 20 dollars and i think i even seen that um middle bike going for as far as 72 dollars on some websites and i'm only picking these things up for like three or four bucks at my local walmart so guys be careful where you buy these detailed bike these 118 scale bikes from some places are charging an absorbent amount of money and walmart's got these things for under five dollars and i think that's where we're gonna end the video for today all right guys so that pretty much wraps up another episode of toy collector review now when it comes to these bikes as i told you i seen these things going for different prices online so i'm pretty sure they're valuable in certain places to me i like them i don't care about the value these things look really cool they look awesome they look great on my shelf alongside my diecast car collection so i intend to buy as many different ones as i can now guys i think i am running out of different motorcycles from this company there is another one a harley davidson motorcycle that they have out there now guys if you want me to start getting those and bring them on the channel leave me a comment in the comment section below and i'll start collecting those as well until then i'll just keep finding what i can find on these bikes here but guys once again we come to that point in the video where if you haven't done so already go ahead and hit that subscribe button become a member of this channel hit that bell notification so you can be notified every time i put out a new video and share these videos on all your social media platforms and guys do me a favor and smash that like button it does help with the youtube algorithm and if there's anything in particular you would like to see on this channel go ahead and hit me in the comment section below and i will do my best to get that out there for you guys once again i'm sergeant geek and i'm signing off